Welcome back to another Factoid Factory video. Today we are embarking on a journey to another remote location known as Henderson Island. Henderson Island stands as a remote and pristine jewel in the vast expanse of the South Pacific Ocean. Situated within the Pitcairn Islands, a British overseas territory, this coral atoll is renowned for its isolation, extraordinary biodiversity, and the sobering issue of plastic pollution. In this video, we will delve deep into the various aspects of Henderson Island, from its geographical features to its significance in environmental conservation. Our journey will encompass the island's unique ecosystems, human impact, plastic pollution crisis, conservation efforts, and its accessibility challenges. But before we begin, if you are a lover of history, nature, and science, and if you have not as of yet, Please subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us to continue to bring you interesting content and mind-blowing facts. Henderson Island, often referred to as Henderson for simplicity, is a geological wonder in the heart of the South Pacific Ocean. It is an atoll, a ring-shaped coral island, formed through a complex process over millennia. The island's geological history dates back to the uplift of a submerged coral reef system, which eventually led to the emergence of land above sea level. Henderson covers an area of approximately 37.3 square kilometers, 14.4 square miles, rendering it relatively small in comparison to many other Pacific islands. However, its small size belies the breathtaking natural features it possesses. The island is characterized by its rugged terrain, jagged limestone cliffs and dense vegetation that blankets the landscape. As a coral atoll, Henderson Island is primarily composed of calcium carbonate, a mineral formed by the accumulation of the skeletal remains of countless coral polyps. Over time, these coral reefs grew and developed into the limestone foundation that now supports the island's terrestrial ecosystems. One of the most remarkable aspects of Henderson Island is its unparalleled biodiversity, which has earned it a coveted designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The island's isolation, unique geological history, and distinct climate have contributed to the evolution of numerous endemic species, meaning they are found nowhere else on Earth. Let's explore some key aspects of this extraordinary biodiversity. Henderson Island boasts a diverse range of plant species, including many that are endemic. Its flora includes lush forests, shrubs, and grasslands. Some noteworthy species include the Henderson Island palm, Ropolostylis bowery, pandanus trees, and various ferns and flowering plants. The island is also home to a variety of endemic and native animal species. Bird enthusiasts will appreciate the presence of several endemic bird species, such as the Henderson lorikeet, Vinny stefini, and the Henderson fruit dove, Tilinopus insularis. In addition to birds, Henderson Island is inhabited by insects, reptiles, and marine life unique to its ecosystem. Henderson Island stands as a testament to the remote and untouched beauty of the natural world, largely untouched by human hands throughout its history. However, this does not mean it has been completely free of human influence. While Henderson Island has never had a native human population, it has seen sporadic visits from Polynesian and European explorers and traders over the centuries. These interactions, though infrequent, left some marks on the island's history. The most significant human impact on Henderson Island has been the introduction of non-native species. The arrival of invasive species, such as rats, poses a significant threat to the island's native flora and fauna. Efforts to combat these invasive species are ongoing to protect the island's delicate ecosystem. In recent years, Henderson Island has garnered international attention for a pressing and alarming issue, plastic pollution. Its remote location and unique ocean currents have made it a tragic hotspot for plastic debris accumulation. Here's a deeper look into this crisis. In 2015, a research expedition conducted on Henderson Island revealed a staggering and disheartening reality. The island had one of the highest densities of plastic debris in the world. 
an estimated 37.7 million pieces of plastic littered its once pristine beaches, creating a stark juxtaposition of nature's beauty and humanity's ecological footprint. The plastic pollution on Henderson Island is not locally generated, but primarily the result of ocean currents. It highlights the global nature of the plastic pollution problem. Debris from distant sources is carried by these currents and eventually washes ashore on the island, where it accumulates over time. The consequences of this plastic pollution are dire. Marine life, birds and other wildlife that call the island home are exposed to the harmful effects of ingesting or becoming entangled in plastic debris. This pollution threatens the island's unique ecosystems and the very species that make it a World Heritage Site. Recognizing the urgency of the plastic pollution crisis and the need to protect Henderson Island's biodiversity, various efforts have been undertaken to raise awareness and promote conservation. Conservation organizations, researchers and volunteers have organized cleanup expeditions to remove plastic debris from Henderson Island's beaches. These initiatives aim to mitigate the immediate harm caused by plastic pollution. The British government, which administers the Pitcairn Islands, has implemented regulations aimed at reducing plastic pollution in the surrounding waters. These regulations include measures to limit single-use plastics and promote sustainable fishing practices. Raising awareness about the plastic pollution crisis is crucial. Educational campaigns, documentaries and research studies have helped shed light on the issue and its global implications. Public awareness is a key driver of change. Henderson Island's extreme isolation and remote location present significant challenges for those wishing to visit or study this unique ecosystem. There are no regular passenger flights or commercial services to Henderson Island. Access is restricted to research expeditions and the occasional supply ship. This lack of accessibility helps preserve the island's isolation but also hinders conservation efforts. The logistics of organizing research expeditions or delivering essential supplies to the island are complex and costly due to its remoteness. Researchers and conservationists must carefully plan and coordinate their activities. And there you have it, our discovery of the remote and extraordinary Henderson Island. We've explored its geological wonders, marveled at its unique biodiversity, and confronted the urgent issue of plastic pollution. As we conclude our exploration, remember that the fate of Henderson Island is not just a story about a distant paradise. It's a reminder of our collective responsibility to protect our planet's most precious ecosystems. Together, we can make a difference in preserving the natural wonders of our world. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell in order to stay up to date with more insightful content. Stay tuned for our next adventure as we continue to explore the wonders of our planet and the challenges it faces. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and let's work together to make a positive impact on our world.